G'day Eli, uh, thanks for the question mate. Um, the reason behind the scientist, uh, I wish I really knew the, the proper answer but basically a few of the boys think I'm a bit of a nerd, nerd-like character and Simon Wiggins just started calling me the scientist, it was actually the mad scientist so um, can't give you too much of a story, that's about it but that's how um, most nicknames tend to pop up at the club. G'day Matthew, um, thanks for the question mate. What do I like doing outside of football? Um, I like to play a bit of golf when I can, so unfortunately I can't at the moment, but I do enjoy getting out in the golf course. Um, and other than that, just probably you know nothing too interesting, just catching up with a few mates who you know, I don't get to see too often because um, I'm at the footy club a fair bit, so just probably catching up with mates as well. G'day Ricardo, thanks for the question. Um, bit of a dodgy one this week mate, because we're taking them on on the weekend, but unfortunately I used to follow the Bombers. Um, I'm right off them at the moment obviously. Um, so, and my, my idol for the Bombers was uh, James Hurd, which is probably a bit dodgy as well, but um, we'll just let that one go I think. G'day Kylie, uh, yeah great question, um, obviously I've played on you know, a lot of good players and especially a few early in my career like Matthew Lloyd and, and Matthew Richardson and I think Matthew Richardson was probably the most difficult because uh, he had a lot of strengths that were you know, pretty hard to stop, you, know, you usually play on a forward and they've got one main strength which you have to try and combat but uh, Richo was you know, a super athlete and super strong and, and you know, you'd try and beat one thing and he'd just uh, you know, employ another tactic against you so it was always really hard to play on. Yeah, Brad, uh, thanks for the question, mate. Um, it'll probably go down as you know, one of the biggest backflips in history, me getting on Twitter. I was um, very much against it early on. But um, you know, it was probably more born out of the fact that after surgery I was uh, very bored for the first few days, so I thought I'd jump on and, and keep up with what the boys are doing. But um, as I've said, as soon as the games start again, mate, I'll, um, I'll probably have to sack Twitter and, you know, and just uh, give it to the boys around the club, I think. Yeah, hi Matt, uh, thanks for the question. Yeah, like most of the guys at the footy club, I've sort of jumped on a few bandwagons around, you know, the, around the world in other sports. Um, in the NBA, it's, I've jumped on the Boston Celtics, so you know, they did okay this year, but you know, it, was, it was just interesting to follow them. And then uh, other than that, mainly just probably golf, so I just follow individual golfers. Um, I really enjoy watching the young guys go around like uh, Rory McIlroy and, and Ricky Fowler. So there's a few guys at the club and we enjoy uh, following the golf. Hi Jesse, yeah, thanks for the question. Obviously uh, we get along really well with everyone at, down at the footy sheds, but um, I guess a few. I live with Simon White, so unfortunately I spend a bit of time with him. Um, it's probably wouldn't, wouldn't do it otherwise. Um, I'm emceeing Jared Waite's wedding at the end of the year, so that'll be a bit of a laugh, and I get along well with Waitey. Um, and then, you know, I start, try and stick to the defenders and, you know, most of the rookies, because they tend to be the most, best blokes at the club. Hi, right, Liv, thanks for the question. Um, my most memorable game was probably, you know, my first win. Um, it was early in 2008, and we, we beat Collingwood. Uh, I think if we had to lost that game, it was going to be you know, a record for most games in a, a road loss. So uh, to win that game, to get my first game you know, as a win, and, and it was Rats' first win as well. So um, that's one that I'll, I'll probably never forget. Hey Mitchell, uh, yeah, thanks for the interesting question, mate. There's a lot of guys down at the footy club who have uh, pretty stinky habits. Jared Waite's um, feet are the worst feet I've ever seen in my life. They, um, not sure what they resemble, but it's not it's not normal feet. He's hardly got any toenails, and it's just not a great place to look at. Um, apart from that, uh, Simon White tells horrific jokes and continues to do it. And probably the worst habit with that is he he's the first one to laugh at his own jokes. So that's probably the worst bit. Yeah, Michael. Uh, great question, mate. Yeah, Chris Judd did say that. Uh, he said I was in a book club, so you know it's not true. Um, as I've said before, that a lot of the boys at the footy sheds are just fascinated by the fact I can read. Um, so I do enjoy reading. But um, and a few, my favourite book is probably Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. So if you haven't read that, check that out by Hunter S. Thompson. Uh, certainly not the most intellectual bloke at the club. Um, 
Nick Dygan's got that very much covered. He's a, a very smart fella, and you know, if I ever want to talk to the boys about something other than, you know, football magazines or you know what's in the Herald Sun, I um, you know have a chat to him. 